All right, so this is your quiz for study guide. There is a PDF file of the study guide uploaded to our web page if you want to or need to look at it while we're doing this. But problem number one, you're asked to solve the absolute value equation, and we've got 2 times the absolute value of 4x minus 5. Minus 2 equal to negative 4. So if we add 2 to each side, um, this 2 times the absolute value of 4x minus 5 is equal to negative 2. And then if you divide both sides by 2, we would get the absolute value of 4x minus 5 equal to negative 1. And an absolute value can't be negative, can it? Okay, so that's no solution. No solution. Problem number two, four times the absolute value of 3x plus 5, as soon as my pen comes back. Plus 2 is equal to 10. Subtract 2 from each side. So 4 times the absolute value of 3x plus 5 is equal to 8. And then divide both sides by 4. So the absolute value of 3x plus 5 is equal to 2. So when we get there, you're going to write two equations. Three x plus five equals two. And three x plus five is equal to negative two. So we're going to solve both of these. So we get a 3x equal to negative 3, divide by 3, and an x equal to negative 1. <clears throat> and then we'll add, or I'm sorry, subtract 5 again. So 3x is equal to negative 7. Divide by 3, and x equals negative 7 thirds. And then if you're asked to graph it, negative 7 thirds is like negative 2 and a third. So negative 7 thirds would be here, negative 1 would be here. They're equals equal to, so they're both closed circles. All right. And that's your graph. All right, problem number three. 
solve the equation, check for extraneous solutions. So we've got 5 times the absolute value of 3 minus 9x. Equal to 9x plus 9. We've got to get the absolute value symbol by itself. So we're going to divide both sides by 5. Now when you divide the right side by 5, you have to divide everything by 5. Sorry. These fives cancel. What we're left with is the absolute value of 3 minus 9x equal to 9 over 5x plus 9 over 5. So we're going to rewrite this as 3 minus 9x equals 9 over 5, x plus 9 over 5, and then 3 minus 9x equals, we've got to negate the whole right side here, or multiply this whole right side by negative 1. So it's going to be negative 9 fifths, x minus 9 fifths. So we're going to solve both equations. Going to subtract 3 from each side. So the negative 9x comes down, and it's equal to 9 fifths x, and then 9 fifths minus 3. That's negative 1 and 1 fifth. And then I'm going to subtract 9 fifths x from each side. So 9 negative minus 9 fifths is negative 10 and 4 fifths x equal to negative 1 and 1 fifth. So then we got to divide both sides by negative 10 and 4 fifths. So we get an x equal to 1 ninth. And now we have to do the same thing over here. All right. I'm going to I'm going to do two steps in one, meaning I'm going to subtract this 3 from each side and I'm going to add 9 fifths x to each side. And when we do that, the threes cancel. So I got negative nine plus nine fifths. Which is negative seven and one fifth. X equal to these cancel. And negative nine fifths minus three. is negative four and four fifths. So I'm gonna divide each side by negative seven and one fifth. And we get an X now that's equal to two 
two thirds. Now we did all that because we have to check for extraneous solutions. So we've got to go back negative divided by negative, negative divided by negative. Okay. So now we're going to check each solution. And I've got five times the absolute value of three minus nine X and nine times one ninth equal to nine times one ninth plus nine. So on this left hand side, Five times the absolute value of three minus nine times one ninth. Well, nine times one ninth is equal to one. So this is three minus one, which is two. And nine times one ninth is one again. One plus nine is ten. And five times the absolute value of two is two. Agreed? Or you can divide both sides by 5 here, and we get the absolute value of 2 is equal to 2, and that works. So this solution is good. So now I'm going to check this 2 thirds solution. And we got 5 times the absolute value of 3 minus. 9 times 2 thirds equal to 9 times 2 thirds plus 9. So on this left hand side, we get 5 times the absolute value of 3 minus 9 times 2 thirds. That's equal to 6. And the 9 times 2 thirds again is equal to 6 plus 9. So look what we get. 5 times the absolute value of negative 3 is equal to 6 plus 9 is 15. And if we divide both sides by 5, and the absolute value of negative 3 is equal to 3, and that works as well. So both of those solutions are good. They both work. Unfortunately, you just have to go through all that work to find out if they work. All right, problem number four. We are now solving and graphing. Absolute value of 2x plus 3. Greater than or equal to 19. We talked about this yesterday on these greater than or equal to problems. That's where we have to write two equations. So we go 2x plus 3 greater than or equal to 19, and we do 2x plus 3 less than or equal to negative 19. And then solve them both. So subtract 3 from each side. 2x is greater than or equal to 16. Divide both sides by 2. We get an x that's greater than or equal to 8. And then subtract 3 from each side. We get a 2x that's less than or equal to negative 22. And divide both sides by 2. So our x is less than or equal to 
negative 11. And then when you graph that, we're on negative 11 and positive 8. So greater than or equal to 8, that's going to be closed on the 8 and going to the right. Less than or equal to negative 11, that's closed on the negative 11 and going to the left. Problem number five, absolute value of 2x plus 10, less than or equal to 26. On these less than or the less than or equal to problems, you can just add the inverse of this 26 to each side. So we're going to say negative 26 is less than or equal to 2x plus 10, which is less than or equal to 26. Subtract 10 from everywhere. And negative 36 is less than or equal to 2x, which is less than or equal to 16. Divide everything by 2. And negative 36 divided by 2 is negative 18 is less than or equal to x, which is less than or equal to 8. And when we graph it, we're closed on both values, and we're shaded in the middle. Problem number six, we've got two times the absolute value of x plus one-fourth, less than nine. So again, well, not yet. we got to isolate this absolute value symbol first. So we're going to divide both sides by 2. We get the absolute value of x plus 1 fourth is less than 9 divided by 2 is 4.5. So now since it's a less than, we can take negative 4.5 is less than x plus 1 fourth, which is less than 4.5. And then subtract, since 1 fourth is equal to 0 0.25, we can just subtract 0.25. from everything. So we get negative 4.75 is less than x, which is less than 4.25. Do I look like I'm doing something? All right, and then we graph this. So we got the negative 4.75 and the 4.25. They're both open. 
and we're shading in between. All right, then we got number seven, last problem on this study guide. Absolute value of 4x plus 8. Greater than 28. Again, on these greater than or these greater than or equal to problems, once you isolate the absolute value symbol, we've got to write the equation twice. So 4x plus 8 greater than 28. 4x plus 8 less than negative 28. So solve the solve both inequalities. We get a 4x equal greater than 20. So x is greater than 5. And this other inequality, 4x is less than negative 36. Divide both sides by 4. And x is less than negative 9. All right, we got x less than negative 9, so we're open. We're going to the left. We got x greater than 5, so we're open again. We're shading to the right. All right, does anybody have any questions? All right. That completes your study guide for your quiz tomorrow.